coming out every day since Wednesday at nine o'clock in the morning and staying till until well, about the lights come, the street lights come on. Um, letting the community know that we're standing out here to make a positive change. Yeah, make a positive positive change to our community and see if we can get some policies changed so our community feels safe and our kids and grandchildren feel safe because they're our future and we shouldn't be afraid of of walking down the street or what could happen to us because we look suspicious. And, and it's not just for us as well, but we want the police officers to feel safe out here too, that they don't have to fear us. Yes. I've been here about 34 years, so I got deep roots here. I got, I got most of my family here, a lot of friends. I got my two, my two kids, my grandbaby. I got deep roots here, yes sir. We consider ourselves demonstrators. Peaceful demonstrators. Peaceful demonstrators. When you think of protesters, you think of a agitated group of people. We're, we're not angry, we're not agitated, we just want to see change. No, no we, we are angry, but not to the point where we're going to start destroying our own town. We are not anti-police. We, we support our police officers completely. We're behind them all the way. We just need to see some some of their actions change. I was watching the small interview they did with the police chief, I believe it was on Wednesday. He mentioned that he's our neighbor, that the police officers here in this community are neighbors. There's one thing I would like to ask is for them to come out and meet, meet their neighbors, if that's the case. And treat us like neighbors. Not like suspects.